This is the Unify U6 Lite, and this is the brand new Grandstream GWN7660. In today's video, we're going to compare these two units. We're going to look at the form comparison, the spec comparison, and do a couple of speed tests. So if that's something you think you're interested in, then stick around. Looking at the two APs side by side, you can see they're very similar in size, although the Grandstream GWN7660 is slightly larger in diameter. It's a much smaller form factor than its older brothers, the GWN7630 and the 7615. So Grandstream did a nice job in shrinking the form factor on the 7660. But diameter wise, they're almost the same size, not much bigger than the U6 Lite. If we look at them side by side, you can see that the U6 Lite has a much sleeker design than the 7660. If we flip them over on the back, you can see there's a lot of venting on the 7660. And if I slightly angle them so that you can see the ethernet ports, you can see the U6 Lite has only one gigabit ethernet port while the 7660 has two. Now, I just wanna note that both ports on the 7660 are one gig ethernet. Unlike the 2.5 gig port that the bigger brother, the 7664, does possess. So anyway, that's a quick look at the form factor of the two units. Now what we're going to do is just take a quick look at the specs side by side. So looking at the specs side by side, if you look at column C, these are the specs that we're going to actually compare on both units. So I have the GWN7660 on the left and the Unify U6 Lite on the right. So if we look at price point first, you can see that price-wise, the GWN7660 has a retail price of $125, and that is based on VoIPsupply.com, and the U6 Lite has a retail price of $99, and that's right from the UI website. You can see that the Wi-Fi standards are pretty much the same. Comparing PoE mode, the GWN7660 supports PoE and or PoE+, Plus. the U6 Lite 802.3AF PoE or passive PoE 48 volts. If we look at the ports, we already discussed this when we took a closer look. The GWN7660 has the two gigabit ethernet ports, whereas the U6 Lite has only one. As far as MIMO, the 7660 2x2 two two multi-user MIMO, the U6 Lite 2x2 two two on multi-user MIMO on the 5 gig band. Looking at the aggregate throughput, now take this for what it's worth. The GWN7660 is rated at 1.77 gigabits per second. The U6 Lite is 1.5. Looking at the wireless security modes, the U6 Lite is just WPA, WPA2, and WPA3, while the GWN7660 supports WEP, WPA, WPA2, WPA, WPA2 Enterprise, and WPA3. Looking at the max power, the GWN7660 is between 22 and 24, depending on the band, 2.4 or 5 gigahertz, while the U6 Lite is 23. Max power consumption, the 7660, 9 watts. The U6 Lite, 13.5 watts. The 7660 is rated for 256 concurrent clients. Unify U6 Lite, 300 plus. One of the big differences is the voice optimization. The 7660 does have voice optimization, while the U6 Lite does not. Controller. The 7660 has its own embedded controller and can manage up to 50 other AP devices, or it can be managed th through GWN Cloud or GWN Manager. The Unify U6 Lite requires Unify Controller version 5.14.3 and later. And then here you could see the actual size dimensions right here and the weight dimensions. So now that we've taken a closer look at the specs, what I'd like to do is just run a couple of speed tests, a couple of iPerf tests, and see how the two compare. All right, let's do a couple of speed tests, a couple of iPerf tests to both devices. Now, I'm going to have both devices on that back table fired up one at a time so they don't interfere with each other. 
that workbench in the back is about 15 feet away from where I'm sitting here. So the test will be identical for both devices. I also disabled the daily driver, which is a GWN 7630 up on the ceiling. So that this way, that's not a factor during the test as well. The only thing I did to both devices out of, besides taking them out of the box is I made sure they're both running their latest firmware. And I did disable the 2.4 gigahertz radio on both devices so that I know when I connect to the respective SSIDs with my phone, I will be connected at 5G. So that said, let's switch over to my phone with, on the overhead camera. I'm connected to the Unify U6 Lite, which is fired up on that back workstation. Let's do a speed test using speedtest.net on my iPhone. Okay, so we got 336 down and 291 up. Let's run the test again. Okay, so that time we did a little bit better. We got 395 down and 314 up. Okay, let me just flip over to iPerf. I'm running iPerf server on a MacBook Pro. It's connected to the U6 Wi-Fi and I'm gonna launch iPerf now on the phone and we'll run a test for 10 seconds. We'll do the upload test first and we'll do five streams. I'm gonna start it, I hope you guys can see it. Okay, so the average on the test, on the upload test was 162. Let's do the download test. and the average on the download test was 167. Okay, so those are the tests performed to the U6 Lite. Now, just give me a second, I'll be right back, and then we're gonna do the same exact test. Let me get the U6 Lite disconnected, let me get the 7660 connected and fired up, and we'll conduct the same test in just a sec. Okay, the GWN7660 is connected on the back table. My phone is connected to its Wi-Fi. Let's go ahead and conduct a couple of speed tests. Okay, so we have 537 down and 316 up. Let's run the test one more time. That time we got 479 down. and 244 up. Okay, let's do the iPerf test. We'll do the same thing. We'll do the upload and the download. And again, I'll read them to you. If you can't see them, we'll do 10 second tests. Okay, so we had an average of 343. And that was the 
upload test. Let's do the download now. And again, I, I apologize if you can't see it that well. Oh, hold on one second. My laptop went to sleep. Okay, the laptop is listening again. Let's go ahead and try that test again. That's more like it. Okay, so on average, we have 255 down. Okay, so there you go. You got to see the U6 Lite versus the GWN7660 tested here under the same conditions in my lab. Now keep in mind, your results may vary, but at least you got a little taste of what both devices can do. Let me know what access point you guys are using in your home. Put that down in the comments below. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out other videos that I have listed here up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. And I want to thank you as I do in every video for using my Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. Once again, my name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, please stay safe. Thank you for watching. and We'll see you next time.